I'm going to go through some of the common myths associated with our brains. You're born with the brain you have, you can't change it. So that's a big myth. Your brain is really dynamic and it's changing all the time. So it's a very malleable part of our body. It's, it's the most malleable part of our body that we have. Dr. Rudy Tanzi, Harvard neuroscientist, says we don't have to be at the mercy of bad feelings. We can change the brain that's making us feel those things. Your brain, whether you like it or not, is constantly remodeling, rewiring, reshaping itself. You can let it happen automatically, or you can take control. And the easiest, and the way you take control is simple. You just step back and say, I'm not sad right now. My brain is making me feel sad. Tansy teamed up with spiritual guru Deepak Chopra to write Super Brain, a guidebook to mastering your mind. So that if you observe the fact that you're anxious, you're fearful, then what you can do is rewire your brain to get around it. And you're going to tell us how to rewire. That's the, that's the easiest part. Really? To, to, to rewire your brain, you just have to get out of your brain. You take over and you become the user, the leader, the teacher and inventor of your brain. All you have to do is remember that you're self-aware. But doesn't it take a lot of work to no. be self-aware all the time? I'll tell you my trick is I, I check my cell phone all the time for texts, emails, calls. So I made a rule. Every time I look at my phone, I have to ask, how do I feel right now? And try to find balance. Then I check my, my email and my texts. And it's amazing how well it works. It changes your life. He has a few more life changers that will save your brain. Number one, exercise physical exercise, nothing better. Number two, stay intellectually stimulated. That doesn't mean crossword puzzles or Sudoku. Okay, it means learning new things. It could be on TV, it could be a book, it could be doing something novel like just brush your teeth with the other hand, but when you put your pants on, put your other leg in first, anything that just makes your brain do something new. The most important thing is staying curious like a child. When you attach passion and emotion to learning, you remember everything. And that's why kids remember everything. You get older, you get jaded, you get apathetic. Instead of wow moments, you have so what moments. And that's why you don't learn as well. When we look at this picture of this brain, what part of this can I control? All of it. So none of this is set in stone? None of it. It's all just a book that's rewriting itself all the time. And you can either let some yeah, other people write your book or you can write your own book. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.